fashion has become so unique to the person. Just because I think we live in a, how would I say it? We live in a time now where you get to kind of pick who you are. Mm -hmm. And you don't really have to be kind of wearing the social standards. Yeah. Even though trends are popular and people still like the trends. But now, I wouldn't be surprised if I walked into a room and saw someone like... If I saw a woman dressed in a dress of like the 19th century. Yeah. And then I saw some guy that was kind of dressed like the 80s. Saw some guy dressed like the 70s. I feel like that's so... Like... Like so normal nowadays. Mm. And you get to pick your own style. And, you know, with popularity of thrifting oh, yeah, yeah. and reusing clothes, like, I feel like it's normal nowadays to kind of be proud of your own style mm -hmm. and not having to wear, like, what everyone else is wearing. That's basically how I started. Honestly, I wanted to make my own clothes. I always thought the idea of making your own clothes mm -hmm. is, like, so sick. Like, yeah. oh, I make my own clothes. Like, I, just the saying that alone, it sounds so sick. So then that's how I started. I started to design the... The logo on shirts i first mm -hmm. sewed it like with just regular like sewing string i just did an you outline just did it like... yeah just in and out and outline quick and then from there i liked it i put it on like it's sick was so that then... the the box one no it's a with the, with the face or no? no that one came right after but oh, it was a uh, it was just a j and then the r like that right next to it like it okay. was like sandwich mm -hmm. like the j and the r line oh okay, they okay, were okay, just yeah. met together yeah. so then that one came like that then uh then I wanted to make another one, so then I made another version. Then from there, I started thinking about other stuff. So then I got an idea that, that was like with all creative knowledge, and I abbreviated to WAC. So then that from there came another idea. Then I was like, how can I incorporate all these into one without having them become separate brands, you know? Mm. So then it just became categories, like subcategories within the bigger mm. brand, which is Jobs Reject. Then like with all creative knowledge would be like, like a subcategory with its own ideas and like own guidelines to create clothes and stuff mm -hmm. like that like this phrase with our creative knowledge like anything could go like just, like just with mm -hmm. the phrase alone and then um like other categories and stuff like that so that's why i've also been working in Smart. with having categories mm -hmm. within the bigger brand on mm -hmm. its own so it can just have something pushing like something new i also so like i won't get stuck because i feel like sometimes you can have creative block and you won't be able yeah. to, to create work but then like if you stop or have this like sit in the back burner and then or like put it on the shelf like quote unquote right and then work on another project and then you come back for it with a different set of eyes or like you went to sleep and you let it sit and you come back and it's like oh now i got something right yeah. so i've always i've always been transitioning into stuff like that and then moving forward now it's like like um like in the seasons like i want to do something with like winter uh fall and like summer stuff yeah. like that too so have like a specific line of stuff like that then also like with sports like have a, a whole like sports line yeah like a whole sports like like wearing like a anorak jacket or something like that mm -hmm. right or like designing something like that or even like dressing up and dressing down like have nicer clothes you know how mm -hmm. some brands have like the nicer high end stuff to dress up and other stuff like a little more casual so there's like a bunch of different categories and I like I try to touch all of them just because it's like mm -hmm. like at the end of the day it was all meant for, to design stuff for myself but yeah. then people started liking it so then I was like oh then you want a shirt like let me borrow it because that's where it started let me borrow it and it makes something and I'll just give it back to you and you can just rip it and wear it so it all started with just that and then people started to like it like the idea then then that's when I was like I should just push it as a brand yeah but it all started with just like I want to wear this and wears. make my let own let me make clothes. something I want to yeah. wear that's basically how I started. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, feel, I feel like that's something that... I feel like that's like the... How would I say it? Like the magic powder uh -huh. of a successful business. You making something that you wouldn't want to yeah. wear yourself. And then I wouldn't want to like put something out that I wouldn't wear. Yeah. Right? So that's also like something that, that I wouldn't want to... Like that's where I draw the line. Like I'm not going to cheap someone out or like... Or like... Um, like finesse them for their money, right? Because yeah. that's like... A, it's not my intention. Mm. Plus, it's like, I, if I wouldn't wear it, I wouldn't want you to wear it, yeah. you know? So when I do take stuff like that, I tell them, like, I don't have proper equipment. I'm just, like, practicing still. So, like, be aware, right? Mm. And, like, do, you, do you think, um, have you seen any advantages or disadvantages of kind of trying to meet, like, the different niches as opposed to focusing on one and then seeing how far it goes? Um, advantages, for sure, on, on like... I guess creative creativity wise like sometimes i can explore 
this further and i can't really do it here because sometimes like you mentioned maybe you have a creativity block on this mm -hmm. but then you have an idea that helps this right? yeah so then i'll push this forward and then leave this sitting and then i'll yeah. come back to it and also push it forward like recently i've i want to brand not only my brand job rejects but also me as a person mm -hmm. so then have like i don't want to put myself into like i don't know if it makes any sense but like i want to have my personal work also be separate from the brand work you know mm -hmm. it's not all like always one if that makes sense because i think at some point i would want to make things that don't fall under like the guidelines or rules that i have set up for job three right like i can't do like i would say i guess that makes sense right because you as a person just how you mentioned in the clothing that you have to wear athletic formal like all yeah. these type of clothing you as a person, you also have these different ideas. Yeah. And Jabri Reject, that it has to be aligned to Jabri yeah. Reject and like the meaning behind it, right? Yeah. So maybe you're going to have to create, maybe you want to create something that doesn't really align with Jabri Reject, but it still aligns with you. Yeah. So like having a separate too, also like the idea that, that like the brand would be the brand and I'm me still. Mm -hmm. And then I can either do a collab with the brand or me right mm -hmm. like for further projects and stuff like that and then that would be also cool too like just having like my own personal work which is like stuff that i would want to explore more or like let's say it's just like something that i'm trying out that's new like let me just work with it personally yeah. and then if it if it works out or whatever then let me just either bring another subcategory and then introduce it into like mm -hmm. what i've investigated or found out and like let me work with it and like make some logo or like some some idea with like job reading now throwing yeah. in yeah i could already see myself going to the store and then <laughs> like gucci and then like reese and then prada like lined up next yeah. to each other i recently made a logo for my personal work mm -hmm. so then i'm really excited about that i haven't thrown it on anything yet but i'm excited how it came out it's just a signature of my last name pretty sick so then i also want to do like home decor stuff or just furniture i've been trying to make like just a chair right a simple chair mm -hmm. and then like have that be my personal work slapped on with my personal logo on it Oh, and then maybe what type of chair are you thinking of it? just a regular chair i want to get more into like like the process of making something okay. so i can be more um more hands-on more hands-on and more um um what's it called like like uh more productive in make, making stuff with my hands i oh, feel yeah. like that would that would be really nice a really nice like a uh, gesture to further my like creativity in, in both like jobbery and this and that like just being attention to detail and what i can mm -hmm. produce with my hands and stuff like that 